uh, Dr. Wilcox is here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I got to tell you, your la- your talk uh, when you came in the last time was very, very interesting. Uh, quite a few comments about it, uh, text comments and emails. So uh, you 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 brought it down to my level, and I think some people understood it. Well, I thank you for that, and I did receive a lot of uh, um, inquiries at the office. Did you? And uh, today we're going to uh, build from that. Okay. And I have a lot to talk about, a lot of stuff that nobody knows anything about, but it has to do with um, a lot, to, everything to do with this coronavirus, and uh, I'm going to shock some people. Okay. Dr. Wilcox, of course, from the Wilcox Eye Center down at the point. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure where to begin. I never know where to start with you or how to jump in. Well, I just know how to ask a question when it goes, okay. and I got to bring you back in. So I understand let's, it. Let's begin with the end in mind. I just okay. gave you a printout right. from Spain. Okay. And, um, the, everyone's looking for a way to keep people from dying from the coronavirus. Correct. There's this argument about a hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin, a Z-pack. And um, now what I'm allergic to Z-Packs. Okay, we're, we're, I'm just let's move on. Okay, I'm, I'm talking okay. about other stuff. So they're looking <laughs> for an answer for this. All right. And and now who dies more likely? It's typically the older. Correct. And the people with bad immune systems. Correct. So we have not a lot we can do about old. There are some things you can do about that. Another story. But immune systems is, okay, we need to, if we have a better immune system, you're less likely to be sick and catch this virus and let it affect you. A lot of people are catching it, but they're not sick because their immune system is keeping it at bay, okay? So just, I'm going to talk about ozone. Okay. And I'm, 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 we're on the radio, and so... Um, now, o- ozone, when most of us think yeah. of ozone, we think of the ozone layer yes, everybody talks which about. which protects our Earth. Right. Okay, protects our Earth. So if you put for the radio, the people on the radio listening here, if you make a peace sign in right hand and left hand, you got you got four fingers pointing up. Right. If you take your middle finger in your right hand and put it down, now you have your pointer finger and you're going shame on you. Okay. okay? So one on your right hand, you have one finger up. Your left hand, you have two fingers up. Well, on your left hand with the two fingers, that's two oxygen molecules. It's stable, okay? On your right hand with your pointer finger, going shame on you, it's an unstable oxygen. It's a singlet oxygen. It's by itself. It, and it has to stabilize itself. So what happens is when um, a lightning storm happens and you walk outside afterwards, you smell that smell, you go, oh, wow, and you feel good after that lightning yeah. storm? Well, what happened is the lightning, the charge, broke some of those peace signs in half and gave you a single... F- oxygen and and a double on the other side if you put your two hands together you now have three fingers pointing up okay that's ozone so it's three oxygen molecules all right okay it doesn't last a long time and so good things happen let's go to the football field on the sideline of the football field the big lineman is huffing an oxygen tank because he needs energy right so the peace sign peace is good and the, sh- the shake your finger sign, you can also take that, that, the one single oxygen, and instead of shaking your finger, you can, point, you can touch the side of your head and go, I've got an idea. So there's good things that happens with that, nut, that single oxygen and some bad things. So when it goes into your body, if you take ozone and you put it into your body across your skin, you can inject it in your blood by doctors and other people doing that. When you get it in your body, the, it separates into O2 and O1. The O2, the football player, your body says, thank you very much. I have energy. I can do things. I can clean myself up. And the O1 stimulates your immune system. Your body goes, hey, this is oxidation. When you have that O1, you rust, okay, oxidizing. If you go, if you listen to all the the counsel that's given to people on supplements is take your antioxidants. Well, the only reason we can need antioxidants is because we oxidize. It's like a a teeter-totter, a seesaw, yin and yang. You can't have one without the other. So we're constantly going into state through oxidation and reduction in, in our body. So back to this O1. So the O1 goes in your body, alerts your immune system, if you have a good immune system, and your body now makes antioxidants. What if your immune system is not up to par? Well, hence, this will make sense in a second. So when you go back up, 
O2, body says thank you. O1, stimulate your immune system. And now your body starts making these things. They've got funny names, glutathione and superoxide dismutase and catalase. And they're things that, that neutralize that O1. Guess who can't make antioxidants? Virus, bacteria, protozoa, yeast. So when you have that stuff inside of you, when we have trillions of good bacteria and we have trillions of viruses, it's just the bad guys and when they're getting, when we're overwhelmed, well, that O1 attacks them by different means and they die. So giving, going back, if you put O3 into your body, any number of ways, O2 goes to give you the energy and O1 goes immediately at, and and attacks these viruses. It also, that O1 gloms onto things in your body, fats around your cells and whatnot. Hey, I, I've got a question. Though. Yes, sir. When we were talking the last time you were in mm -hmm. about uh, cleaning the surfaces, okay. weren't we talking ozone? Okay, so, so we'll pause and go back to that because anybody can do any of this stuff within certain regards. Okay? Right. So I have right here in my hand this ozone machine. Right. Okay, now what what do you do here? This thing... But, but if I have that turned on, I can't be in the room. Okay, so here we go. Great question. When you're... You can't breathe ozone because the... Um, well, I, frankly, you can breathe snippets of it, a little passive gas, but basically you don't breathe ozone. So when you have an ozone machine in your room... You have to leave the house. You got to take the pet. You got to take the parakeet. You got to get out of the house. Let it do its thing. It's on a timer. Remember, room air has 80% nitrogen. And when you put a charge, a lightning bolt, a charge onto room air and, and creating ozone, you're also creating these nitrogen species, these nitrates and nitrites, bad stuff. Okay. So that's why you get out of the room. And so you turn the ozone machine on for environmental cleaning and you get out of there. Now, this oxygen tank I have here, right. that's, that's 100% O2. And if you take the O2 and you put a charge on it, the lightning bolt, and it breaks into your, your three oxygens, now it's actually when you make ozone, if you take O2 and you do your thing to it, you keep about 95% O2. It's just about 3 to 5% O3 that happens, and it doesn't linger for a long time, and it does its thing, and that's why you gotta, you got to have this constant exposure to, 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 to take advantage of your, your, the O3 and the O1 that breaks off. So room air, let me say it again, you don't breathe ozone right. machine air. Right. See, that's what okay? I and have the a little thing is You also there. don't breathe medical. This is medical. This is industrial. So medical ozone is you don't breathe that either. And the reason you don't breathe it is, as I was talking about making your immune system, you make antioxidants, our lung tissue doesn't do that well at all. So it can't defend itself and make antioxidants. And so that's why our lungs are problem. Actually, the outside of the eye, the conjunctive of the, the mucus uh, tissue there, it does a bad job there. That being said... We use ozone in oils in the eyes for 10 years now. We've been using it, ozonated oils. Nikola Tesla is the first guy to make ozonated oils. And, and you can put them on your skin. By ozonated, do you mean taking ozone. ozone, making it liquid? No, you take the oil and you pass the O3 through it. Okay. And it, and it sticks and it okay. stays there. Okay. And so there's a, I have a doctor, a dentist uh, up in Canada. I'm in a number of um, groups because of what I do with this ozone and lecturing and whatnot. And, um, and, a, and a dentist up in Canada made his own ozonated water, and he fixed himself of a corneal ulcer and he, under the guidance of an um, eye doctor up there in Canada because of the same thing. It's glomming onto the bugs. It's killing the bugs. They can't defend themselves. And, and, um, and so these are things that um, um, are done by a small but growing number of people in the world. Um, ozone is huge outside the country. Back to the paper. Italy, people dying, lots of them, right? right. They finally acquiesced the hospital systems and said, you know what, we're going to use this ozone in the body. And now they have 20 hospitals using ozone for their COVID patients. Spain, the paper right in front of you, 36 patients who were, what does it say in the first line? I gave you the paper. 36, uh, uh, only one of 36 ended up intubated. Yes, but that person got well. And so of the 36, if you read the next line, it's pretty amazing. It's uh, and, um, only one of the 36 COVID-19 patients treated with ozone 
needed to be on a ventilator in the intensive care unit. All the others, despite having contracted pneumonia with serious respiratory difficulties, have seen their conditions reverse and will shortly be able to return to their family. Okay, that's hot off the press. And and so I'm pushing for our medical community to embrace this stuff because it's no risk, high reward, and and things are going on right now to try to affect that change. It, but How it's, available mm-hmm. is it? Oh, right here. Here's an ozone machine right here in my hand. Oh, so you make it? You make it. You you pass. You plug this in the wall. There's a you 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 put oxygen through there, and um, and out comes the O3. And there, there there's always a bigger story to everything. But um, I, I have family members who are picking this stuff up for home use. And um, you get it into your body, either onto your body and, um, and, and through your skin. And we do that in the office. have been doing it for years. You can, you can percolate it through your ears. It's called ear insufflation. It's just passing a gas there. And, um, and then you can get it into your blood, and that's somebody else is going to be doing those things. We don't do those things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still confused. Okay. If I'm cleaning the room with the okay. ozone, I can't be in there. And you, yes, but you, you don't want it to get in your lungs. But how are we getting the ozone out of the container here so that it's effective okay. in my body? Am I wearing yeah. a mask and breathing it? No, no, you do not breathe it. One more time. I understand no that, but so if you don't put it into the air that you're breathing, but you put it on your skin. Oh, okay. If you don't put it, there's one way to do so it. So you got this big tank that looks like looks it's like the tank, tank that uh, yeah oxygen tank that uh, uh, they use, they wear underneath the ocean when they go scuba well, yeah. diving. And people with COPD carrying around lugging it around in the, in the store. But what? All day. How do I get the ozone? Out? Does the ozone oh. come out in liquid form? Okay, so this is O2. This is oxygen. Okay, oxygen. Pass. Oh, I got it. Okay, okay. you put oxygen through a gizmo. The gizmo has a little charge, some science in it, and out comes the other side. Here is a stethoscope, and I didn't bring all the wires, but this goes in your ears, and ozone is going into your ears. And so the thing is, there's there's systems that are made so that the passive gas is absorbed and, and destructed and whatnot. So, um, so w- backing up, okay. people can clean up their atmosphere. I, I just ran by the office, picked this thing up. It ran last night for four or five hours. I walked in the office, went, oh, I smell a thunderstorm. And because it's already dissipating. So we've cleaned up the environment. Any bugs on the countertops or here, there, and the other place. When I say bugs, I mean virus. Yeah, he's not talking stuff. about roaches. Not, right well, actually, there. it does. Okay. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you got if you got some problem with spider infestation in your house and you want to get rid of them, Turn on the ozone machine, and um, they yeah. don't like it, huh? Well, they would be for the same reason. I mean, they're, the spider are people too, and um, and so uh, um, so the the takeaway is people businesses should be ozonating their area. P- public places where people accumulate should do a nighttime when nobody's there cleaning up of their air. Two people themselves for their body can provide this ozone, which is. Is the, the O2 part of it, when it breaks down into O2 and O1, the O2 part of it's good for the body. Last time I checked, we all need oxygen. And the O1 part of it is killing bugs. It's stimulating your immune system. And then you can fight things off. What is the difference mm-hmm. between the machine that is cleaning the room okay. and the machine that is taking the O2, zapping it, and making it to O3? Because the machine that's cleaning the room is using room air, which is 80% nitrogen. This is a 0% nitrogen. Oxygen tank is all oxygen. Air is 20%-ish oxygen. So is, is the machine that's zapping the O2 actually putting ozone out? This, it, How is it captured out of the machine? No. So O2 goes through here. Right. A charge is exposed to the O2. Right. About 3 to 5%. Then, then the gas comes out. And three to five percent of it's O3 for a little bit, and then it breaks into O2, and the O the O1s go they 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 made up with some. And O1s. that little bit's enough to make contact with me or whatever. Yes. And yet, as they say, the dose is the toxin. He he, he gets frustrated with me because okay. my question I can see by yes. the look on your face because yes. my this questions are so. Okay. Yes. So the little bit will will take care of it for you. If you but, were giving a but, speech and a scientist asked this question, you would go, "I'll get." Some. 
serious. Okay, so Neil, <laughs> Neil. So the thing is, when we say we're giving you ozone, we're not giving you 100% ozone. Nobody right. is. Understood. You're giving a concentration based upon how, if this gas, just to get a little science, a little sciencey, the gas, if it passes past this electrode real quickly, you don't get strong stuff. If it passes really slowly, you get stronger stuff because it has more time to act on it. So there's little little ways to make it stronger okay. or weaker. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, and and the device is how you get yes. that. Okay, I got and, it. And I was in the wrong and direction so, there. And uh, you know, I I closed last time, and not saying that I'm closing. And, and today's Holy Thursday. The, your listening audience is a big Christian and lovely, wonderful audience, or whatever they're all part of. Say your prayers that this movement by not just me, there's there's a number of people around the country trying to get organized medicine to adopt this cheap, free, easy, no risk, high reward means of fixing people. And it's just been something that, you know, that they, they weren't taught and and it's kind of counterintuitive to some things. Um, and we're just trying to get it to happen. And, um, and it will. And we're working on it. Um, Italy, Spain, other countries. And we're breaking into the United States to try to get this to happen. Now, I, you have to admit. Yes. To the average person, mm -hmm. it sounds a little weird when you say we put these on and we're feeding ozone through your ears. Yeah, okay. So, you got to admit, that okay. sounds a little strange. Okay. It makes me a little uncomfortable. So there's this stuff called the interstitium. If I take your long sleeve shirt and I put your wrist in a glass of water, the top of your shirt's going to get wet because it wicks through your right, shirt. Right. So the ozone passes through and um, your your cells and 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 it gets around that way. Um, I, I won't. There's there's understood. Healing. That, no, that's a that's a we, great we explanation. Root, many 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 times people will say my eyes hurt. There's pain behind their eyes. And some ozone in their ears makes the pain behind their eyes go away because of this whole process. And it's just, it, I'm not, we're not blowing in your ears, but we're blowing in your ears. <laughs> and, um, and so, uh, can it, you, is there a sensation? Uh, no, no, no. Mm. And you know, it's like anything else. So it's so the, mild. You have to be careful. It's not as easy as one, two, three. You can get in trouble by, by doing too much, too, too wrong and too often. Okay. So there's a process. Um, and, um, but I'm educating the MDs and the ODs and all the different Ds out there. And dentists use this. I, I'm in a group with hundreds and hundreds of dentists around the country. Cause you know, when you use a little slurpy thing and they're sucking spit out of your mouth and yeah. whatnot, well, you know, there's, the better thing to do is to pass ozone through the, through the line than it is to pass other stuff. It cleans everything out. And so I'm, I'm, I've introduced it to a lot of dentists, and it's and you have to embrace it. It's you're better off going to somebody who uses ozone to clean out those those aspiration tubes or whatever they're called, and and um, and, but and, and other things, um, skin, MRSA, uh, killing the lesions that are on people's skin. Same process. But you're still doing it from inside out. No, you can do it from outside in. You can pass. From the outside in, we have a we have a sauna in our office. Oh, the big thing. The big thing. Yes. It's okay. a big tank and your head sticks out of it, so you're not breathing it. And your skin gets exposed to this ozone and other things, rife frequencies and carbonic acid. We make your skin porous or the or the machine, the, the unit does, and you pass ozone over the skin. Your skin transdermally absorbs all this ozone and all the love and good things happen, the detoxification and the oxygenation. You know, I like to tell people when you eat a piece of spinach, a little green piece of spinach doesn't go to the tip of your finger. It's broken down in your stomach, and the, the little guys' genes and molecules and enzymes, they break it all into parts, and they deliver that to your tissues, right? So when you breathe oxygen, it's the same way. You have to get oxygen in your lungs. You have to be able to absorb that oxygen onto your blood cells. There's good blood cells and bad blood cells. People with blood problems who don't absorb oxygen well or get it off your red blood cell, that's a problem with hypoxia or a lack of oxygen. So, so when you pass it through your skin, it's getting to the end point quicker than when you go lungs, blood, traveling all around. So 
um, excuse me, passion shows, and there's so much to it. And I've been, I think, prepared for this for all the years and years and years of doing this stuff. And there's a time to come out and play your hand, and now's the time because we're at need. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how successful are you in getting professionals to understand, reach out, and follow? I'm smiling from ear to ear right now because I think we're on like we're somewhere between second and third base of okay. having this done. And Beautiful. I don't want to I don't want to spoil things. Sure. But at the same time, to to have I don't know who's listening here, who's going to be shaking their finger at me or embracing me, going I never knew. And I'm a huge networker, and I'm hoping in this high holy season of. Uh, of um, of everything that's going on this Holy Weekend for us who are in that camp that, um, you know, thy will be done and uh, that good things come of this. Because when, you know, bad happens, there's silver linings to things. One of, one of the easiest interviews I do is Dr. Wilcox. I go, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Wilcox. <laughs> <laughs> You're great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're it, welcome. It is uh, 827, right on the button on the Gator Bell. Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Peter E. Wilcox from the Wilcox Eye Center. If you or your child are looking for better answers for visual discomfort from computer use, eye strain, headaches, migraines, stiff neck or back, light sensitivity, dry eye, and or fatigue at the end of the workday, then check out NeuroLenses.com. That is N-E-U-R-O-L-E-N-S-E-S dot com. Take time and research their website and learn how this one-of-a-kind technology at the Wilcox Eye Center can help solve these problems for you and your family. 24-7 access to your health care is at your fingertips, and so is a screening process.